Hey everyone, Anthony here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So today, I'm going to be doing a very general video of how I make my Sims 3 game look pretty. So there are so many things that go into making my Sims 3 game look the way it does. To be honest, I'm still not completely happy with how it looks, but I feel like with where I've gotten it, I've come a very far away from how I used to play with how it looked. So I decided I would show you guys a few things that I use to make my game look the way it looks, so let's hop right into it. So the first thing that is a must for my gameplay is reshade. So I won't be showing you guys a tutorial on how to do reshade in this video as that is more specific and this is more of just like a general video of how I make my Sims 3 game look pretty. But basically I have reshaded my game. The reshade is basically where you can like download presets to change the way your game looks through like saturation, brightness, etc. So I have reshade 6.10 with full add-on support because for some reason when I used to have reshade, um, if I was connected to Wi-Fi it wouldn't do certain things but there are so many videos and tutorials on YouTube for you to follow that show you a closer way of how to actually like install reshade into your game so I won't be doing that today. But I will show you which preset I use in my game. So I use the Boho Dreams preset by Nick Nixel. N Nixel? I don't know if I'm even saying that right. I apologize if I'm not. But I use this preset in my game. And I think it makes my game look so vibrant. And it gives it a lot of nice colors. And it kind of like... It gives it like a warmish tone but also kind of mutes it like at the same time i don't know how else to describe it but i just feel like it makes my game look so wonderful so let's go ahead and head into my game so i can show you guys what it looks like okay so we're back with my sim here her name is colleen so i just had to plop a sim down really quickly so i can show you guys but this is what my game looks like this is what the reshade menu looks like um, as you can see this is the um, preset i use boho dreams i also have one called pearl which is also another really good one so i guess i can show you that one as well so you can see like the difference so this one is the pearl preset and then this one is the boho dreams preset which is the one i typically use so this is basically what my game looks like with this preset i think it makes my game look really really pretty so for example let's go ahead and head to like the water i think it makes my game really look stunning so yeah i really do love this preset and i feel like it really makes my sims look pretty and it makes like the world around my sims look pretty so yeah that is reshade let's move on to the next thing i use so the next thing i have in my game is the gray UI recolor. So it, it does exactly what it says. It makes the UI, which is typically blue, a gray color. So yeah, this is exactly what I have in my game. I just feel like it looks a lot better than like the harsh, like really deep, like bright blue that they have originally. So yeah, I have this one. But if that's not your cup of tea, there also is the clean UI mod, which like I personally, when I put into my game, I didn't really like it as much as I liked the gray one by itself. But you can also download this one and see it does the same exact thing and it changes up the complete layout of the UI. So it's also gray, but I didn't really like the setup of it. So that's why I went for the gray UI one. So yeah, let me show you guys that in my game. Okay, so I'm back in game, and as you can see, my UI is gray. This is what it looks like. Um, I think it looks very nice, and it's a lot more subtle than how it would be for, like, um, uh, um, like, if it was, like, the really, like, um, uh, very vibrant blue. And as you can see, this is gray. If I went to edit town really quickly, it would also show as this is gray. So, yeah. I just think it gives my game a lot more of, like, a... It gives it a better look than it being like literally so bright blue that it like literally like pierces into your eyes. So yeah, that is the UI mod. Let's move on to my next one. So the next thing I have in my game that is a must is the Frozen Inspired Lighting Mod by Burnt Waffles. I'm sure everyone knows who Burnt Waffles is because they make so many lighting mods for the Sims 3 game. But I chose the Frozen one. There are so many on her on their website that have like many different, you can literally pick which one you think looks best, but I have the Frozen one. So yeah, I just think it honestly looks so pretty in my game. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so here is what it looks like in my game. I'm just letting the time speed by so you can see how pretty it looks in my game. But look at how it's changing the lighting. Oh my god, this is literally gorgeous. And it makes the sky like purple and like so many different colors. And I just I just love how it looks in my game. So yeah, I definitely recommend using this mod. And look at the sky at nighttime. Literally look at how pretty that is. So yeah, that is the frozen lighting mod. So let's move on to the next one. So the next thing I have in my game to make it look better is the TS3 HD Texture Series by Lyrelay. I think that's how you say that. Forgive me, I'm literally pronouncing everything wrong probably in this um, video, but it does exactly as it says. As you can see, this would be before you added it, and this would be after it, so it basically just makes the terrain HD, so... 
as you can see, there are three different downloads here, and if you read this, it tells you exactly which one you should download. So like 4K is if like you have a really really good computer and if you mainly just use play the game to take pictures. 2K is if you have a pretty good computer and you usually play for gameplay. And then 1K is if your game is already bad enough and you just want to give it a little bit of more oomph. So I'll show you what that looks like in my game. Okay, so back in my game, as you can see, the terrain just looks more HD. I don't really know how else to tell it to you, so... Yeah, this is just what my roads look like, and the grass. So yeah, I just think it gives the game a little bit more of, like, definition, I guess, so... Yeah, that's the HD terrain pack, and let's move on to the final portion of this video. So the last thing I will be discussing in this video is Realistic Clouds by Milix. I'm saying everything wrong in this video, I so apologize. But it is realistic clouds, it basically does as it says, it gives realistic clouds for your gameplay. So the Sims 3 clouds originally are like, they're okay, but I feel like this really gives it more of like, it gives it more of a realistic cloud look to be honest, and I just feel like it makes my game look so pretty. I have so many like, nice mods for scenery, and I just think it really gives my game more of an oomph to be honest. So I will show you what that looks like in my game. Okay, so I'm back in my game now, as you can see, and look at those clouds. Those are some realistic clouds, look at them. It literally looks like a real cloud, doesn't it? I just think it makes the game look so much prettier, so... Yeah, look at how pretty Sunset Valley is, by the way. Sunset Valley, even though it's, it's the base game world, is literally one of my favorite worlds, but yeah. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I know it was pretty short, but it was just a very quick little, like, overview of how I make my Sims 3 game look pretty. This is just, like, diving into it. This is very minimal, so if you guys want a more in-depth version of this, please let me know down below. See, as you can see here, look at the this lighting mod. Like, this lighting mod literally makes my game look so beautiful. And these realistic clouds already just make my game look so beautiful. And the reshade, like, these these components all work together to make my game look like this. So, yeah, that's enough of me rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.